Carr standing in there and out of the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Chris Olave. The 2024 NFL offseason saw the wide receiver market explode. Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, Amon Ross St. Brown, and D.J. Moore all securing new deals worth over $100 million. NFL teams aren't stupid. They know you need a good receiver to win in today's league, which is why top wide receivers were paid at historic rates this offseason. With that said, let's dive into our annual rankings of all 32 NFL teams' number one wide receiver from worst to first. The next season, then you start from that point instead of, all right, we got to figure out how to do this again. So hopefully I'm looking forward to that definitely. Number 32, Demario Douglas, New England Patriots. Douglas was among the few bright spots on a lousy Patriots team in the final year of the Bill Belichick era. The 2023 sixth round pick led the team with 561 receiving yards, though he didn't record a single touchdown. We'll see if Douglas or somebody else can step up and emerge as the franchise's first 1,000 yard pass catcher since Julian Edelman in 2019. Number 31, Lad McConkey, Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers dumped Keenan Allen and Mike Williams in cap saving moves and decided to go younger at wideout. They used a second round pick on Georgia wideout Lad McConkey, who will battle it out with Josh Palmer and 2023 first rounder Quentin Johnston for the number one receiver role. But for now, the slight edge goes to McConkey. Number 30, Christian Watson, Green Bay Packers. The Packers are a unique case because they have four good but not great young receivers here in Watson, Jaden Reed, Romeo Dubs, and Dontavian Wicks. Any of them could emerge as Jordan Love's number one receiver, but we're going to put Watson here given his higher upside. It's a shame that injuries have limited him to 23 games over his first two seasons, but the 6'4 burner is bound to put it all together if he can avoid the injury bug. Might this actually be the year that it happens? Well, we'll see. Number 29, Keon Coleman, Buffalo Bills. After trading the increasing headache that was Stefan Diggs, the Bills decided to get younger and cheaper at wide receiver. The makeover was headlined by the selection of Florida State wideout Keon Coleman, whom Buffalo selected number 33 overall. Curtis Samuel and Khalil Shakir could emerge as Josh Allen's WR1, but the early favorite here is Coleman. The speedy deep threat has the skill set to step in and replace Diggs right away. Number 28, Deontay Johnson, Carolina Panthers. The Panthers acquired the former Pittsburgh Steelers star in a blockbuster trade, giving Bryce Young a new WR1 receiver. The 2021 Pro Bowler has exceeded the 50 catch and 700 yard marks in four straight years despite suffering from awful quarterback play in Pittsburgh. If Bryce Young can bounce back from a tough sophomore year, Johnson may regain that star-like form that we saw three years ago. Number 27, Cortland Sutton, Denver Broncos. Sutton hasn't hit 1,000 yards receiving since his 2019 sophomore year. However, he recorded a career-high 10 receiving touchdowns last season. So, maybe Peak Sutton is on the verge of a return. Jerry Judy's departure opens up more opportunities for Sutton to have a career year. Number 26, Christian Kirk, Jacksonville Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence and Christian Kirk have emerged as one of the best QB receiving tandems. If Kirk didn't miss Jacksonville's last five games last year, the Jags would have surely won their second straight AFC South Division crown. Kirk ranks lower here because you know he won't get the ball as much as other WR1s. The Jaguars have another superstar at running back in Travis Etienne Jr., a top 10 tight end in Evan Ingram, and newcomers Brian Thomas Jr. and Gabe Davis. Number 25, Zay Flowers, Baltimore Ravens. Flowers was one of the top rookies of 2023, recording 77 receptions for 858 yards and five touchdowns. But reality is that his numbers aren't going to be eye-popping in a rush-first offense led by reigning MVP Lamar Jackson and two-time rushing champ Derrick Henry. Flowers is also fighting with superstar tight end Mark Andrews for targets. Flowers is more than serviceable as a WR1, but he's not someone who's going to challenge for the receiving crown or individual awards. And you know, that's okay, so long as the Ravens rushing game doesn't lose its steam. Number 24, Rashi Rice, Kansas City Chiefs. There's a real possibility that rookie Xavier Worthy or free agent pickup Marquise Brown replace Rice as Kansas City's WR1, and that really factored into our rankings here. Reality is, is that Casey's WR won't put up off the charts numbers. Patrick Mahomes has just way too many weapons. Starting off with a legendary tight end Travis Kelsey, then you throw in Isaiah Pacheco and those three receivers, and you can see why it's tough to find a fair placement for Casey's number one receiver here. 
Number 23, Malik Neighbors, New York Giants. Some might find this high for a rookie, but the LSU product has all the tools to immediately step in and cement himself as a top 10 receiver. Also, it's not like the Giants have any other stud pass catchers to take some of the targets away from Neighbors. Daniel Jones may be a bottom tier QB, but great receivers like Neighbors always find ways to get open and make plays regardless of who's behind center. Number 22, Calvin Ridley, Tennessee Titans. Ridley put up a stellar 76, 1016 and eight stat line in his one year with the Jacksonville Jaguars and turned that into a $92 million contract with Tennessee. We would love to rank Ridley higher given his skill set, but DeAndre Hopkins is going to challenge for the number one receiver role as well, and newcomer Tyler Boyd is bound to get a nice quantity of targets himself. Number 21, George Pickens, Pittsburgh Steelers. Pickens broke out in 2023, as expected, by catching 63 passes for 1,140 yards and five touchdowns. His ridiculous 18.1 yards per catch led the NFL as well. Say what you want about Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, but they are big upgrades over the QBs that Pittsburgh has had over the last couple of seasons. So, another career year is in order for this highlight reel specialist. Number 20, Drake London, Atlanta Falcons. London caught 69 passes for 905 yards and two touchdowns last season, despite lackluster QB play from Desmond Ritter and Taylor Heineke. London is kind of tough to rank here because you know he's bound to put up big numbers with four-time pro bowler Kirk Cousins as his QB. But the Falcons got to get the ball out to Kyle Pitts, B. John Robinson, Darnell Mooney, and Tyler Algier as well. So it's honestly really hard to project just how many targets London will actually get. Number 19, Ramari Cooper, Cleveland Browns. You always know what you're gonna get from the five-time pro bowler. He's exceeded the 70 catch and 1,000 yard marks in seven of his nine NFL seasons, including each of his first two years with the Browns. The arrival of Jerry Judy means less targets for Cooper in the passing game, but there is no reason to believe that he can't hit 1K for the eighth time in his career. Number 18, Terry McLaurin, Washington Commanders. Scary Terry needs more respect on his name. He has never had an above average QB throwing him the ball. Yet, he has four straight 70 catch and 1,000 yard seasons on his resume. Now just imagine how much more he'll produce if rookie QB Jane Daniels is actually the real deal that the Commanders are envisioning. Scary Terry indeed. Number 17, Michael Pittman Jr., Indianapolis Colts. Pittman Jr. had his best season as a pro with backup Gardner Minshew as his primary QB, racking up 109 receptions for 1,152 yards and four touchdowns. If Anthony Richardson avoids the injury bug this year, Pittman Jr. just might elevate his game even more. Number 16, Chris Olave, New Orleans Saints. The Saints offense had no consistency in 2023, but it didn't stop Olave from putting together a superb stat line in his sophomore season. 87 receptions for 1,123 yards and five touchdowns. If Derek Carr can find more rhythm this year, Olave might go from very good to superstar in 2024. Number 15, Marvin Harrison Jr., Arizona Cardinals. Don't call this too high for a rookie. Harrison Jr. is a generational wide receiver prospect who has all the tools to be as good as his old man and proud Hall of Famer, Marvin Harrison. Kyler Murray's dual threat game will go hand in hand with Harrison Jr., who could easily cement himself as a top five or 10 NFL receiver by season's end. Number 14, DK Metcalf, Seattle Seahawks. Because Seattle is a rush-heavy offense, Metcalf won't produce like a top five receiver. But in terms of individual talent and physical gifts, you will not find a more well-rounded NFL player than Metcalf. Since his 2019 rookie year, Metcalf's 43 receiving TDs are tied for fourth most with Stefan Diggs. Number 13, DJ Moore, Chicago Bears. We really wanted to have Moore in the top 10, but realisticness is pivotal in lists like this. The Bears traded for perennial pro bowler Keenan Allen and used the number 9 pick on can't-miss Washington prospect Romo Dunze. Moore had a career year in 2023 because the Bears didn't really have any other weapons, so his numbers are bound to drop a little bit this year, but he's still really good. Number 12, Stefan Diggs, Houston Texans. Diggs was easily a top five receiver during his four year run with the Buffalo Bills, but going to Houston means forming a three headed receiving monster with Nico Collins and Tank Dell, and that ultimately translates to less targets for Diggs. Don't get us wrong, he's still gonna produce big time in H Town, but Diggs won't be pushing for 100 receptions and 1,500 yards again.
Number 11, Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Death, taxes, and 1,000 yard seasons from Mike Evans, no matter who the quarterback is. Evans helped Baker Mayfield turn in a career year and lead the Bucs to a third straight NFC South division crown. Yeah, uh, Tom Brady who? Uh, just kidding, people, just kidding. The five time Pro Bowler has hit 1K receiving in each of his first 10 NFL seasons. Seriously, who is to bet against him making it 11 years in a row? Number 10, Puka Nakua, Los Angeles Rams. Nakua set new rookie single season records with 105 receptions and 1,486 yards in 2023. Jeez, not too bad for a fifth round pick, huh? Nakua's efforts helped the Rams return to the postseason, where they nearly lost to the Detroit Lions on wildcard weekend. If last year was an indicator of anything, he's on his way to becoming a top five receiver in football. Number 9, Brandon Ayuk, San Francisco 49ers. Ayuk went from borderline pro bowler to superstar in 2023, catching 75 passes for 1,342 yards and 7 touchdowns in order to help the 49ers to a Super Bowl 58 appearance. Those numbers are pretty darn good when you also consider that he's got to share the ball with Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, and Debo Samuel. So, what does the YAC monster do for an encore? Well, stay tuned. Number 8, Garrett Wilson, New York Jets. Two straight seasons of over 80 catches and 1,000 yards. And that's with guys like Zach Wilson, Tim Boyle, and Trevor Simeon throwing him the ball. Well, we got news for you. Aaron Rodgers is an all-time great and only like, I don't know, light years better than the QBs Wilson has had to work with up to this point. So if Rodgers can stay healthy this year, Wilson is gonna go off with career highs across the board. Number 7, Devontae Adams, Las Vegas Raiders. A mediocre quarterback room of Jimmy Garoppolo and Aiden O'Connell led to a drop in production from Adams in 2023. But if 103 catches for 1,144 yards and 8 touchdowns is a down year for you, then you gotta be pretty darn good at this wide receiver stuff. Now the optimist in us wants to think that the new starter Gardner Minshew will be an upgrade over Jimmy G and O'Connell. And if he is, then Adams will easily push 1,500 yards receiving again. And if Minshew isn't, then heck, maybe Adams will be sent free and moved out ahead of the trade deadline. Number 6, Amon Ross St. Brown, Detroit Lions. St. Brown is fifth in receptions since entering the NFL in 2021 with 315. And yet, it still feels like the Lions superstar doesn't get nearly enough love. St. Brown was the catalyst of a Lions offense that propelled the team to their first playoff win in 32 years, as well as a trip to the NFC Championship game. St. Brown turned his career year into a $120.01 million extension. Now let's see if he can deliver a Super Bowl to Motor City. Number 5, A.J. Brown, Philadelphia Eagles. Despite having to share the ball with fellow star wideout Devontae Smith, Brown has posted his two best seasons right here in Philadelphia. The three-time pro bowler has 194 receptions for 2,952 yards and 18 touchdowns over his first two seasons as an Eagle, featuring a trip to Super Bowl 57. With Saquon Barkley joining the star-studded offense, there is no telling how much higher the Jalen Hurts-led unit will fly in 2024. What we can tell you is that Brown will produce like a top five receiver one way or another. Number 4, Jamar Chase, Cincinnati Bengals. Three years, three seasons of 80 plus catches, more than 1,000 yards, and at least seven receiving TDs in each. Chase has been everything that the Bengals dreamed of when they selected him fifth overall in 2021. The Bengals' Super Bowl hopes cratered in 2023 when Joe Burrow suffered a season-ending wrist injury. But in Joe Cool's two healthy seasons, since he has played in two AFC championships and one Super Bowl. So, if Burrow and Chase are both healthy this year, that is going to be football's number one quarterback-receiver tandem. Number 3, C.D. Lamb, Dallas Cowboys. Lamb turned a career year into a well-deserved $136 million extension. The Dallas Cowboys superstar led the league with 135 receptions and was second in yards with 1,749 behind only Tyree Kill. Only Hill and Mike Evans had more receiving TDs than Lamb, who finished with 13. Well, now that CD has that long overdue extension in his back pocket, let's see if he and Dak Prescott can end the playoff misery and lead the Cowboys on a deep run for once. Number 2, Tyree Kill, Miami Dolphins. Incredibly, Hill's two best statistical seasons have come right here in Miami. So, no, I guess he wasn't a product of Mahomes and Andy Reid in Kansas City. Cheetah recorded 119 receptions for 1,799 yards and 13 touchdowns, with the latter two marks topping the NFL. It was Hill's fourth straight season with over 1,200 yards receiving. Hill's MVP caliber numbers are also impressive when you remember that Jalen Waddell, Raheem Mostert, and Devon Achan also needed a big slice of 
the pie as well. Now, if Hill and Tua Tagovailoa could just lead Miami to at least one playoff victory. Number 1. Justin Jefferson, Minnesota Vikings A year after leading the NFL with 128 receptions and 1,809 yards, Jefferson suffered a hamstring injury and was limited to 10 games in 2023. And yet, the new $140 million man still tallied 68 receptions for 1,074 yards and 5 touchdowns. And what if we told you that he actually averaged more yards per game, 107.4, in 2023 than the 106.4 that JJ averaged in 2022. Yeah, this man is something else. Jefferson remains the golden standard of NFL wide receivers in the game today. But what changes would you make to our list of every NFL team's number one wide receiver for 2024 from worst to first? What do you think we got right here? What do you think we got wrong? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.